In today's video, I'm going to show how to create structural insulated panels. To create this structure of insulated panels, I'm going to use the curtain walls. And even if you're not using Revit for structural insulated panels, this would be a good exercise to see some advanced features of curtain walls. To begin, I'm going to go in my project browser and I'm going to look for mullions. Now I'm going to press escape to exit my search window. Click the plus button and then go to rectangular mullion. Right click on rectangular million number one, duplicate and name it six by two. Now I'm gonna right click on it and go to type properties. For thickness, I'm gonna do 5.5 inches. For material, I'm gonna use softwood lumber. And for dimensions, with on side 2, I'm going to type 0.75 inches. And side 1 is going to be also 0.75 inches. So 3 quarters of an inch and 3 quarters of an inch equals 1 and a half inches, which is the actual dimensions of a 2 by 6. Now I'm going to hit apply and then OK. Next, I'm going to go to curtain panels, system panel, click on solid, right click duplicate and name it OSB and while I have it selected if I press enter again I'm gonna open the type properties window for offset I'm gonna do zero for now thickness is gonna be seven sixteenths of an inch and I could put the material for OSB here but when I edit these panels usually the material changes to default so I have to change it again as soon as I start editing the panel so for now I'm not going to do that I'm just going to hit apply and then ok so I'm going to use the wall command and here in the properties I'm going to drop down and select storefront go to edit type duplicate and name this curtain wall SIP which is shortcut for of course for structural insulated panels hit enter here where it says curtain panel, I'm going to drop down and look for the OSB panel I just created. For vertical grid, I'm going to do layout none. And also for horizontal. Here where it says vertical mullions, interior type is going to be none. But border one is going to be 6 by 2. And I can just select this text and do Ctrl C on my keyboard. And then Ctrl V to paste it here. Also horizontal interior type non, but border one is gonna be six by two, border two six by two. Gonna hit apply and then okay. Now I'm ready to model my curtain wall, but before I do that, I wanna set the height to unconnected, and here I'm gonna type eight. You can either do that or either leave it to level two and set up the level two at eight feet. Well, let's just go with that. And I'm going to click once and then go to the right and then I'm just going to type 4 on my keyboard. Press enter and I have right here a 4x8 structure insulated panel or let's say a wannabe structure insulated panel. Next step is to move this uh, OSB board all the way to the end of the one end of the exterior of the panel and then add the insulation and another uh, OSB board on the other side. I'm going to change the level of detail to fine and shaded. And right now I'm selecting the curtain wall. But if I hit tab once on my keyboard, I can select the panel itself, which is the OSB board. So if I click on it, now I can go to edit type. But before I do that, I want to measure how much I have to move it. So from here to here, I have these dimensions. So I can just select it and use Ctrl C to copy it. Then I'm going to click modify so I remove my selection. Then I'm going to select the panel, go to edit type. And here on the offset, I'm going to paste it and hit apply. And if I want to move it on the other side, of course, I'm going to need to put a minus. And hit apply is going to be on, it's going to go on the other side, on the exterior side, let's say. Now I'm going to hit OK. So I have one OSB board, I need the insulation and another OSB board on the other side. 
But before I do that, I'm going to create a section and I'm going to run it all the way to here and maybe make it a little bit shorter and now I'm going to right click on the section, go to view and let's assume I want to see two windows in the same screen so I'm going to use WT which is going to create uh, divide the window in half I have section uh, 1 on the left and level 1 on the right on the left on the section 1 I want to see wireframe this way I can see the structural components which are the 2x6 of the uh, structure insulating panel and let's assume I want to extend this bottom plate I can just click here toggle mullion join do the same on the right side and then do the same on the top select the 2x6 and extend it on both sides now I'm going back to my plan view select the system panel which is the OSB board and if I I have here something called edit in place but it's grayed out but if I unpin it now I can select edit in place I'm gonna set the plane pick a plane and I'm gonna pick the interior side of the OSB board and then Revit asks me where do I want to edit this uh, uh, extrusion so I'm gonna go to section 1 and hit extrusion I'm gonna select rectangle and I'm gonna create a rectangle from one end to the other and I, I also can lock all these constraints but keep in mind every time if you copy this uh, particular structure insulated panel all these constraints are not going to be locked now I'm going to hit OK and the extrusion end should be 5.5 inches as that's the thickness of the 2x6's and material I'm going to click here and go to rigid rigid insulation and maybe I'm going to change here the solid fill color yellow hit apply maybe also here solid fill turn it yellow and then also here but it's yellow right here and let's hit apply and then ok now I also have to create the OSB board on the other side so I'm gonna go back to extrusion pick a new plane and the plane is gonna be the interior side of the panel or of the of the or the exterior side of the insulation go back to section one and same I'm gonna use rectangle click here on this corner all the way down here and if I wish I can also lock all these constraints and here to extrusion end this time I'm gonna have to type seven sixteenths of an inch and then material is gonna be of course or is B board I'm gonna have to bring it in my project by clicking the up arrow and I'm gonna double click on it hit OK and it seems like the thickness was not right so let's do it again 7 16 of an inch okay so that looks better and I also need to set this other panel to OSB there it is and I'm gonna hit apply and finish model so now I have one full structure insulated panel let's see how we can do a structure insulated panel with an opening what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use CO which is the shortcut for copy and I'm gonna copy one more panel here to the right side of the first one and I'm gonna use tab to select the panel and I'm gonna delete it and when I do that Revit is gonna tell me it's gonna reset the panel so I'm gonna go replace panels and now I start all over with a wannabe structure insulated panel with only one OSB board now I'm gonna select the panel and go to edit profile and then go to section 1 and let's say this is gonna be a window I'm not gonna give it a dimension I'm just gonna make a square here and I'm gonna hit OK so when I do that, now I have the framing for the window. So let's assume I want to extend and then the seal plate as well. Maybe I want to extend it as well. 
and again I'm gonna have to do the same thing I'm gonna have to uh, select the panel now unpin it edit in place create uh, set the plane and I'm gonna use the shortcut PK I'm gonna set the this plane right here go to section 1 and now I need to go to extrusion maybe I'm gonna use rectangle for to do the exterior side or the interior side I guess and then another rectangle to select the window and the extrusion end has to be 5.5 inches and here I'm gonna need to put rigid insulation and now I'm gonna hit OK and then OK then again extrusion PK the shortcut to pick my plane select this plane go to section 1 another rectangle and then another one for the interiors and which is going to be on the interior side of the window I'm not going to lock it because I want to group this particular window in this way if I have in a project more than one window that is the same I can just modif uh, copy it around and if I modify one group all of them is going gonna to be modified the thing is if I lock them right now and then group them these locks are not going to be uh, available when I group them they're going to be unlocked so I'm not going to waste my time to do that right now so I'm going to go OK and of course the thickness has to be 7 sixteenths of an inch and material always be and of course this other panel has to be always be as well and I'm gonna have to be careful how I use my tab button to select it and I'm gonna hit OK so this is how I create openings and now if I want I can select the panel create a group and maybe name it SIP window center and then if I go create similar which is CS on my keyboard I can place it here maybe let's say I want to rotate it and let's assume I have one more here I'm just gonna click or I can even align them and then you have to be aware of something if I select this panel and move it to the left on my keyboard you can see that it's gonna extend this other panel so in order to avoid that I'm gonna have to right click here where I see this blue dot and select disallow join and now when I move they're not going to be joined together and now if I go in my section view let's say I'm going to create a callout and maybe I want to go to my uh, sheets so let's see where my sheets at I'm going to create a new sheet I'm going to just use the default one and then where is my callout my call I have has to be here where the sections are I'm going to bring my call out here drop it on the sheet double click on the call out to activate it select let's say the window panel and then hit here isolate element and then I can also apply my isolate go to shaded fine and let's say I want to see the structure of the structure insulated panel can go to VG and here I can look for curtain wall panels and then set the transparency to let's say 70 hit OK and then apply and then OK now I can see the insulation and the components of the structural components of the wannabe structure insulated panel let's assume I want to pull some dimensions I have a dimension right here and then maybe a dimension here and probably I would want to pull this dimension 
maybe another dimension right here now I can select let's say this 2x6 and then displace it move it to the left and maybe this element right here displace it with upwards and then maybe this element displace it and then I can do the same for all the other ones so if I want to prefab these structure insulated panels I can just send all these dimensions and everything can be prefab and let's put this one here and I'm using my tab key on my keyboard a lot to do this and then I have one more up here and maybe displace it drop it down here and maybe I want to see the insulation in a, a dashed with a dashed line you can go select the group edit group and I want to select not the curtain wall but the structure the panel of the curtain wall and then go edit in place and I cannot see it right now but if I go in my plan view I can select the insulation itself and here sub subcategory I can drop down and select hidden lines hit apply then ok so now my uh, insulation it's shown as a dash line